In this video, we're going to learn how to put a loading GIF in an Angular application. The idea is the following. Sometimes there is a process that the user must wait for, and sometimes that process takes a few seconds, and therefore we use a loading GIF to indicate the user that they have to wait. We are also going to learn how to use the public folder in Angular. If you want to learn more about building web applications with Angular and SP.NET Core, buy my Udemy course today, in which we're going to build from scratch an application using Angular and SP.NET Core, and also we use a database and a user system so that users can register and log in in our application, and much more. Link with a discount to this course in the description of this video. Now let's get to the tutorial. Alright, so here we are in the application that we have been building, if we go to products, we're going to see that for a moment, for like 2 or 3 seconds, the screen doesn't show anything, and that is not good, that is not a good user experience, and therefore, what we want to do is that we're going to use a loading GIF so that when the user has to wait for something, they know that they have to wait. So, let's do that. Let's come here, I want to come here to Google, and I want to search for a loading GIF, and I can choose whichever one I want, in my case I will use this one, so I will copy this, and let's come back to Visual Studio Code, I want to create a new component in which we are going to centralize our loading GIF, so that if in the future I want to use another loading GIF, I only have to change that information in one place, in one component, so let's do that. Let me open the terminal, we can open it by pressing Control back tick, or we can come to Terminal New Terminal, and we can open a new terminal, and let me say here, ng generate component, or we can say nggc, which is an abbreviation of generate component, and we can say shared components loading, enter. So we're going to place the loading component in the shared folder, in the components folder, in the shared folder. So let me open the HTML, let me close this console, and let me say here, image source this URL, and that's it, with this we have the loading GIF here. Now let's come to our product list component, because here I have this if laptops, then we're going to display this table. So what I want to do is that if there are no laptops available yet, because we're still consulting our web API, then I want to say else, and inside of here I want to display our loading GIF component. So app loading let me close here, control dot to import loading component from the directory in which it is in. So enter, and we're going to see that we're going to get that we are importing the component here in this imports property of the component decorator. So let's see that. Let's see that if now we press control KS to save everything, and let's come here, we're going to see that after the application it's refresh, we're going to be able to see the loading GIF. Now, it was too fast, and therefore, probably you weren't able to see it, so what we're going to do is that we're going to introduce a delay. So let's come to the Web API, to Visual Studio, Controllers, Laptops Controller, and let's come here, and in here, in the Get method, which brings us the full list of laptops, we're going to say here, Await Task Delay, and we're going to say 2 seconds, and we're going to introduce the same thing here because we use this endpoint for querying the individual laptop that we want to edit. Alright, so now let me press Ctrl Shift B to compile my application. Let's come back here, let me refresh, and we're going to see that now we have the loading GIF here. Now, we have this button down here that is not right, so what we're going to do is that we're going to come here, I wanted to come to Visual Studio Code actually, and let me put this anchor in a div, and that's it, let me separate it a little bit, save, let's come back here, and let's see that now, the bottom stays here, and we have the loading GIF here, and if we come to edit, we're going to see that again, we have a blank screen, and after a few seconds, we get back the form, so now let's come back here, and let's fix that, let's come to edit, to products edit component, again we have this if laptop, then else, we're going to say again, the app loading, Alright, let me close this, control dot, import, alright, so now control KS, let's come back here, and let's see that now we have the loading GIF, and after that we have the form. Let me click on cancel, and let's see something, let's come to create a new laptop, I'll call it test, save changes, and we're going to see that if I click on delete, okay, we're going to see that it takes a few seconds 
For the test laptop to be removed, that is not great, that is not okay, so what we want to do is to display the loading if immediately after we delete a laptop. Let's see how to do that. Let's come here, and I want to come to the product list component, so let's come here, and let's see that we have this laptop's property here, so what I want to do is that when I execute this delete function, when I go to the web API and execute the delete endpoint, after we get back a response, I want to say here, this laptops equal to undefined and in this way we're going to be displaying the loading gif let's see that Control s to save let's come back here let's wait a few seconds let's see that now we're ready to come here and say test save changes we wait the loading gif delete okay and see that now we have the loading gif immediately being displayed and after a few seconds we have back here that we only have two laptops now Something that I don't like, and let's come back here, something that I don't like is that I don't like to be unnecessarily using external URLs in my applications. I prefer to have this loading GIF in the public folder in our Angular application so that we have full control of it. Because if tomorrow the owner of this loading GIF deletes it, then my application will not have a loading GIF. That is a problem. So we cannot have that risk in our application. So let's come here. I want to come to the page in which the loading GIF is in. Let me right click on it, save image as. I want to come to my Angular application and we're going to use the public folder. The public folder is a special folder in which we can store static files like images, PDF, and other things that we want our users to be able to access, like a loading GIF. So let me say here loading because I want, because I wanted to have a descriptive name. So let me press enter here and let's see that now if we come to let me come to visual studio code let's see that in the public folder we have loading and now i can come here and just write loading gif and that's it with this we're using this loading gif that we have here which we have full control of so let me save and let's come back here and let's see that our loading GIF is still working, but now it is in our domain. If you want to learn more about building applications with Angular and SP.NET Core, buy my Udemy course today, in which you're going to learn how to build an application from scratch. Link with a discount to this course in the description of this video. Thank you.